Hey guys, this is Joe Lepoffle, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion. Now, I've played Luigi's Mansion before, and I've beaten it 100% before, and that's what I plan on doing in this Let's Play. My episodes will probably be somewhere between 15 to 30 minutes each time, but let's just see how it goes. Now, this is a clear file I've beaten three times. This is a practice file I've been working on a little bit, and this is the new file I'll be using. Now, Luigi's Mansion is a game that I, I'm i pretty sure I almost got the day of, if not the day after or whatnot. And it's always been one of my favorite games, even though at some points I was completely terrified because I was one of those little kids that was afraid of loud noises. So anyway, the basic storyline of this is Luigi won a mansion from a little lottery that he never entered in. So I guess there's the first lesson that comes along with this game, which is when it says that you're the millionth visitor, you're not really the millionth visitor. Do not click on that link. So anyways, we're going to be entering this. And this is probably one of the most annoying things ever because that light is very bright. Alright, so we're first inside the mansion and there's no power. And there's weird shiny stuff on that door. The camera's doing some strange crap right now. Alright, so basic movement is your control stick. Uh, the C stick controls your light like that. Um, you press the B button to turn on and off your light. What the goal is through this game is to basically cure the mansion, I guess, of s being dark, I guess. Oh, and here's our first ghost encounter that we see. And here's music that's probably a little too epic for what's happening. But you know what, let's just live with it. Not gonna complain. And once again, I think he overreacts every time he gets a key. Um, I don't know why I said once again, because I've never said it before, but that doesn't matter. So we're going to use this key to open this door up here. And this is the key animation that you're going to see just this once, just so you know what it looks like. I'm never going to show this again, because it takes up way too much time. Now, what ends up happening is you can also get money through this entire thing. And when you get money, you uh, basically get a better ending, I guess. Now these ghosts, I kind of used to think were terrifying, but I was also a little kid and I was just basically scared if somebody said boo or looking me in the eye and I knew they were there. But now looking back at them, they kind of look like popsicles, like little fudgesicle kind of things, you know, because they're, they got that shape to them. And here we're meeting Professor Egad. And I guess I'll kind of try to speak for him. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice meeting you. I'm Professor Egad. This house, I swear, it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fellow like you doing around here, anywho? I don't know. I won a lottery. Oh. Three popsicles. Uh oh, this looks ugly. All right, youngster, look lively. Follow me. Post haste. All right, so now we're in his lab, or what he calls it. I don't know. It kind of looks like an underground dirt hole. Whatever. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm. Where's this, you ask? Why, this cozy court is you where I do my ghost studying. Professor Egan's ghost research laboratory. The lab, if you're of a short... Whatever. What? Yeah, he needs to learn English, I guess. The lab, if you're of a shortening mind. You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? See, I was right. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Right? Once again, he's telling you lesson one. So, you believe the Magic Axe exists then? Strange. I've been living here since I was a lad, 20 or so. 
how old are you now? Like, 200? And I'll let you know that mansion appeared a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all. But I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Yeah, no kidding. Look at him, he's terrified. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled... A guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went up the mansion without even stopping to chat. And he never returned. Was he a dream too? Wait, that's totally Mar- I forgot, Mario ran ahead of Luigi to get to the mansion first because, you know, he's a complete asshole and wanted everything for himself. So I'm pretty sure that means he got his ass handed to him, which is pretty awesome. Anyways. What? That guy is your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you the deal with ghosts so that you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Ow. All right, here's the control screen. You guys can look at it a little bit. I know what I'm doing. If you want to go back and pause, do that. That's the vacuum cleaner I actually need to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. Ah, oh, Poltergeist, Poltergust, you know. E yeah, you could, never mind. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. Yep, I got it. See, moving around. Got this. You need to do that in order for me to no matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious business. They can't be caught using conventional means. I thought I could totally catch a ghost with my bare hands, because, you know, that's plausible. So you'd better use this, and it's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear, or something to that effect. <clears throat> well, how's about we start your training? Ghosts seem like to like the darkness, and they avoid the light. So if you hit them with a flashlight beam, all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. Then you, it's vacuuming time. Wow, you guys' voice just deepened. When you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try, and you'll learn way more than just listening to the app about it. What am I talking about? I'm terrible at English. What just happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. shut up. I don't know what just happened. I didn't even look that way. Like a pro. Like a pro. What? I'm terrible at this game. Ah, getting close matters. That'll help me. I used to try to shine him from far away. I guess you have to get close. No! Where are you? Ah, oh, he ran away. I totally thought I got two in one, but then I didn't. Wow. Four ghosts. I'm so sorry you saw that. I'm so sorry. On my practice run, I got like 11 or something. Uh, let's not go to the gallery. So basically, what the gallery is, is where you s he stores all of his paintings. But all the painting canvases are blank right now. And basically... Oh, hold on. Poho! Where did you go, Mario? Oh my god, I'm terrible. I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry, you're not gonna make you endure that. Huh? Luigi? What? Wow, it's Luigi! You finally made it! Oh joy! Thank goodness! Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you wanted a mansion and he'd never returned. Th then I arrived here and the mansion was full of ghosts. And I didn't see Mario anywhere and I kind of freaked out a little. I didn't know what to do. Freaked out a little? You were crying on the floor. Whatever. You're a wimp. Wimp. Leave it to me. I said goodbye when I'm once and he's just like, Don't leave me! Or he got all, like, 
Never mind. I'm not going to save right now. Saving in this game is really quick, and you have to talk to Toad or catch... No, I'll get to that part later. But anyways, you can talk to Toad to save. And there's money on the floor right here. And you can vacuum different items to try to get money. That didn't give me anything. Oh, that didn't give me anything either. I guess this is a poor example. Alright, let's try to get stuff. Oh! Alright. Now, when I first played this game, um, I stood in this room for probably 10 minutes before figuring it out. Who put out my candles, you, Mr. Lime Green? The dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark, and know they will get you, bleh. Now you're in for it, bleh. Just like a red cup before you. May you wander lost in darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark little man? Are you, huh? Blah ha ha! There they come now. Here come the ghosts. Whee! Alright. It'd be awesome if I could get through this without getting hurt, too. Because getting hurt is not only embarrassing. But it just kind of slows you down and makes the ghosts go away. And I don't want to make you guys have to bear my terribleness. So anyways, this is actually my first Let's Play, and I want to talk about that for a little bit. So, I've never done a Let's Play before. I've watched many of them, and I love it. So, I wanted to do one for myself out of a game I love, which is Luigi's Mansion. I always loved it. It's a fantastic game. If you haven't played it, I highly suggest it. Um, but I think that a Let's Play is a great way to not only have fun on the internet and have fun in real life and whatnot, but I feel like it's also going to be a great way to make friends and just overall get used to new games and new experiences. So, um, both my brother and I decided we wanted to do this, and we've got had the equipment and everything for like several weeks, but we couldn't get recording properly all that time, and it was kind of frustrating, and we just spent all of today doing that. Oh, I didn't get any of them. Alright. Ooh, double. Great. Um, oh yeah, that reminds me. I want to talk about uh, my brother and I. His, he is Smanjith on YouTube, and he is going to be uh, doing a versus with me of Banjo Kazooie, and that'll be going up shortly, I presume. So, anyways, uh, we're going to the next room. This room is really annoying because not only is there these guys, but there's becomes one of the most annoying enemies in the entire game. I'll show up in a minute. There he is. He has bananas. Oh. I hate you. I hate you. Now, if you slip on those bananas while he's sucking up... Oh, like that, apparently. Whatever. Um, when you slip on them, you stop sucking in the ghosts, you get hurt, and you lose some money. So it's kind of an all-out loss. So you want to avoid that at all costs. So typically what I do is I suck up all the bananas. Oh, here he comes. But what's really annoying is when you're sucking him up, he'll spit out bananas, so you have to keep out for that. But if you can get in a corner like this, it's typically the best thing. Because nobody will move. I don't think any more ghosts are going to appear. So in here is a speedster. And they drop lots of money. If you can get them. See? Look at that. Look at all that money. Suck. Suck it all up. Alright. Another thing I never understood about this game is that... You, uh... Oh, my money. You put your money inside your vacuum where you put the ghosts. And that somehow got you the money to use, but in my opinion, 
It's just being stupid. Why would you suck up your money? And this key. I'm about to do that too. But suddenly it's not in there anymore. Whatever. Um, so, I was talking before. This is called the Game Boy Horror. This shows you a map of everything. You can go to the different floors. I'm currently on this floor. And it shows you where the key is. I'm going to go out here. Talk to this toad. Stop him from crying because he's a wimp. He could, I could save with him, but I don't want to because he's stupid. Alright. Now, what, I, what you're about to see is the painting ghosts, or portrait ghosts. The portrait ghosts are a special ghost. They're not like those common orange thingamajigs or whatnot. Oh, hold on. Hold up a sec, Luigi! It's me, Professor Egad! I detect spirits stronger than we've detected learned God damn it. I think it must be some of those escaped from the gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts and you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. Aw, they're lonely. They don't have the feels. Whatever. When you fix when you find one, you should first use the X button to search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Alright, so he basically explained what I was going to explain. Uh, I'm pretty sure the first one's in here. Yep. He basically... You see this rocking chair's moving? There he is. Oh, he's throwing books at me. Alright. But basically... Um, Egad said a lot. Oh, I just noticed that his name's Egad, and that's what it is. Whatever. Um, Egad talked about how their special ghost escaped from the gallery. So now he's gonna. I have to have my back to him, and he's gonna yawn. Oh my god! I thought the books were done. Oh, I have to suck it up. Oh, this is speedster. Didn't know he was there. No more of those. I have to come back to this guy, and then he's gonna yawn, and then I shine my light on him. Or I'll just be stupid. What am I doing? Alright. Now. Now, one thing that you're gonna notice is that these guys have a lot more health than everyone else, and that makes it really annoying and they drop things called that are pearls that are basically forms of money as well that they add up to in the end oh I forgot to do it oh, I'll show you guys later if I can open this all right this is a key over a reaction to getting the key seeing where the key opens it's the room all the way down all right what I'm gonna show you guys this is a piece of cheese this piece of cheese if you take a picture of it it doesn't work now because it's light time. It's light in the room. But if you take a picture of it, what's going to happen is there's going to be a mouse. It's a golden mouse that comes out and it goes around the room really fast and you have to catch it. If you catch it, a crap ton, like I'm not even kidding, like a shit ton of money comes out. So getting that shit ton of money is pretty good. Now you can see that this door is not shaking when I'm vacuuming it. It's a fake door. You don't want to go through fake doors. Because what happens is, oh, you just kind of get slammed against the wall, and it's kind of terrible. So, anyways, I'm sorry, I'll show you how to get the cheese later, because you get a second chance later in the game to get any missed pieces of cheese or anything. Money! Now this ghost is a woman sitting right here. I'm not going to take a picture of her, because I know what to do. Go over here. And then she freaks out, jump at the corner. Now you'll notice that another thing that she spits out is not just the orbs, but she'll also start to spit out um, that mushroom right there. You see it? That mushroom, if I touch it, makes me small and I can't use my vacuum. So it's kind of terrible. Overreaction, yeah. Alright. 
So that's across the hall. So I think we're approaching our first boss battle, which is pretty exciting. I'll have to shake everything, hump it, whatever Luigi does, I don't know. So, oh, there's a baby crying. Baby cries. And I just probably took both parents to take care of that. I feel a little bad now, but you know what? Not so bad. See, there's a baby right there. What you have to do for him is you have to rock it. Rock this rocking horse. And then he's like... Hey, want to play with me? The answer is no, you don't want to play with him. Now those things will get thrown at you unless you hit him with the ball first. Now, what happens is he starts freaking out and you're going to progress into the very first psychedelic routine of this game. This is lesson two for all of you people out there. Lay off of the drugs when going into a haunted house. Luigi, obviously being the lonely younger brother who nobody likes, except for me, I love him, he's, he's probably trying to cope with drugs and maybe even a gang or something. But anyways, this is the first boss, and, uh, he winked. Serious. Seriousness just brought him out of this stupid thing. So, the tactic for him, he's gonna do a rocking horse. You have to get in the way, and then he sends it at you, and you keep running by. And then he calls down giant ball things, and you have to dodge those until they're done bouncing around, and find the one that stays, which is this one! Hit him with it, and then suck him up. Now, being a boss, you can't get him in one round. See, he just automatically breaks away. And then he starts having a hissy fit, and he starts humping around the room. Now, I'm pretty sure you could just dodge this by staying on one of these center squares, because he does a circle or whatever. I'm not going to worry about that. Anyways, setting up more rocking horses... I don't even know if I had a rocking horse as a child. I really don't. I'd have to ask, but I really don't think I did. And that kind of makes me sad, because rocking horses seem like they could have been fun. Ow! I just lost. Can I just get you? There you go. I'm sorry, you guys have to see this patheticness. Oh, are you kidding me? He just has eight left. <sighs> Go and do your hump thing. I'll stand in the square. Alright, anyways. So, I don't know if you guys have had any rocking horses or anything. I honestly can't remember a lot of my past or my childhood or whatever. I have a very short-term uh, memory of the past couple years instead of back when I was a kid. Except for every now and then there's that one, like, of course, loving memory that you have from forever ago. So, I'd like you guys to post in the comments. Ow! I'm so terrible! I'm sorry! Um, I'd like for you guys to post in the comments if you have any memories or toys or things that you remember most from your childhood. For me, I've had, I actually might still have somewhere in this room, I had this little blanket that was, like, a foot by like two feet and it had silk around the edges and it was like waffle texture in the middle but anyways this this blanket of mine was my favorite thing in the world and I'm pretty sure I actually had it from basically when I was born maybe up to eighth grade or ninth grade and I'm in 11th grade right now I'm a junior in high school so that's pretty pathetic, I guess. But it was the best thing. It was my ultimate comfort item. No matter what, it made me feel safe and protected. I could probably be in the middle of a war, but as long as I had my blanket, which I called Little Blanky. Yeah, embarrassing. Um, if, as long as I had my blanket, I was okay with the world. It was fine. 
I could get away with it. Alright, now you get to see a system called turning the ghosts back into portraits. I don't remember what he calls it. So I'm going to just read you. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portrificationizer. Wow. No effort. This machine lets you lets us turn the ghost you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Hmm? How do we use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Pulse of Gus 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. So, what we're doing is we're draining the ghosts into that little thing. Washing machine. The ghost portrificationizer or whatever. Whatever. He starts dancing, he's getting so excited. And then he's gonna tell us a little story. The ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. That makes no sense. And presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. Excellent. All right. Hmm. We managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. And we're done with area one, and there's four areas in this game, but the areas get longer. So the three ghosts we caught were Neville, the father, Lydia, the mother, and Chauncey, the baby, I guess. And the baby, you can see, has a different frame that's the boss of the area. Now, they all have gold frames, and that's just apparently me being good, and I, I, it makes me happy. I thought I failed on the father because I did stupid things. But there are three different frames. There's gold frames, silver frames, and bronze frames. And the game itself rates you on how well you do against these ghosts. So, apparently I got all gold, which is pretty... makes me happy. I don't think I've ever gotten all gold. I think I typically get Chauncey on silver. So, I'm pretty happy. And I hope you guys are happy for me too, if you're not... I'll go cry a little bit, but whatever. So, we've caught a total of three ghosts, and our money total is coming out to about $5 million already. I'd be okay with that. I would just walk out right now. I'd be okay. $5 million, though I guess it's gold, and this might be just like five bucks in the real world. So we're going to save, and I'm going to say that this is going to be the conclusion of my first episode of Luigi's Mansion, because starting Area 2 with such little time left would be kind of pointless. So thank you all for watching. I have been Jolie Poffel on my Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion, and I hope you guys have enjoyed and will join me next time.